Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a writer and a reader. And today I'm here to do the fantasy writer's tag because I end up writing fantasy a lot. I hope I'm going to say this name right. I but I first saw this tag on SD Hagus's channel. I'm not sure who did the original, but I'll go back and I'll try to link the original creator for this tag as well. After watching her video, it seemed like it was a lot of fun. The first question is, for Once Upon a Time, the introduction, what fantasy project or projects am I currently working on? And <laughs> I am a jump around person, so I do have multiple projects going on. My current one is more of a short story novella, and that is about a young woman who is a courier, so she's walking through a woods in order to deliver a message to somebody else, and comes upon a woman who has a curse. So that is my most current one that I'm working on, but I do have other projects that are out there. They're just not my main focus at this time. So moving on to the fellowship, my writing community. For question number two, who is the Samwise to my Frodo? Or who has been the biggest support of my writing journey? And my biggest support has been my sister, who is also a writer. At this point of time, she focuses more on writing screenplays or film scripts, but ever since we were kids, we always would sit down and our make-believe ended up, or our make-believe games ended up in us trying to write down stories. So she has always been a great supporter, and I most likely, as I'm still generating ideas, will send her messages going, hey, what do you think of this combination of things? And which she's almost always enthusiastically write it, stop telling me about it, because I actually want to read the story. My sister would be my biggest supporter. And for then question number three, the journey to Mordor, what has been your biggest obstacle in your writing journey? And for me, that has been being consistent with my time. I will, so what I found for me, the best way to make sure I'm writing consistently is to have a morning routine. And if my morning routine gets interrupted, that will knock me off from writing for days, weeks, months at a time. It's gotten better where I'm able to restart my morning routine, but it really, I have to advocate that I need that morning routine to, it helps my whole mental process in my day and writing has become a part of that. So consistency has or the lack of consistency has been my biggest obstacle but I am striving to overcome that love of Pottermore number four what house do you belong in and I'm a Hufflepuff every test I get except for one has always had me in Hufflepuff and then number five what house would your MC belong to and for the current story I'm working in I would say Slytherin because she is pretty self-centered but still has a great curiosity on what's going on around her and when she, her and the woman who is cursed first meet she's more like oh I don't want this woman to be a nuisance but the circumstances here are interesting so I would say Slytherin for that reason. How to Train a Dragon, Mythical Creatures. Number six, what mythical creature would you love to see in more fantasy books? And I love dragons. I know that they are already plentiful in books, but I like the different shapes and forms dragons take. And I'm always going to be a dragon fan. Number seven. Does your MC have a mythical creature they encounter? If not, what type of character would they likely encounter? And so 
the creature I have in my book is not a mythical one. It is something that is very much akin to our world. But the curse does involve a creature. And more... My main character more has to deal with people. And... People can be very... Mm, let's, let's be honest. Humans are mean and petty and nice and wonderful and everything in between they can be the scariest creature to deal with and that is what my char my main character typically has to deal with so for game of thrones winter is or question number eight winter is coming what season does your story take place in and funny enough it is winter or it's more the late end of autumn into winter so as everything is turning cold I actually do have a blizzard in the story so while I don't like being cold my characters are still gonna have to deal with it number nine I drink and I know things what is your favorite drink to have when writing and I normally have a cup or bottle of water nearby, but if I'm really relaxing into my time for writing, I like hot chocolate. I just like chocolate and I like it to be warm. But otherwise, water is my go-to. Then for the last question, as you wish from The Princess Bride, number 10. If granted one wish to spend an afternoon with your favorite fantasy author, who would it be and why? And I would really like to spend an afternoon with Robin McKinley. For a period of time, I read her blog, and I think it would be fun to just go through her daily afternoon with the bell ringing and the dogs. I know at least one of the dogs has died, unfortunately, but I think that it would just be fascinating even just to sit there and talk with her about stories. So if you have not done this tag before and you are a fantasy writer, consider yourself tagged. Thank you and have a great day.